What's going on everybody, Team June Rosa, we are back at you with another video, you guys know who I am, Kami, accompanying me, as always, my brother, Jack, how we doing today, buddy? A lot of big things are happening, and right here, this week, we got another deck. Oh yeah, as you see from the title of the video, we doing the Toon Kingdom, let's get to it. Let's get ready to do Toon Kingdom. All right. So we rocking an Ash Blossom. We'd like to see it. Toon Harpy Lady. All right. I'd like to see it. Toon Red Eyes. I'd like to see it. Cosmic Hand. Love to see it. And the Toon Bookmark. You love to see it. Jack. See everything about the deck. Hey, right. Jack, my brother, my friend, you are the Toon Master. Please tell me how your Toon Kingdom deck works, my friend. So, we play a lot of tunes that can't attack their first turn. So, we normally don't want to go first. <laughs> right, okay. Um, but our big boss monster is obviously the tune Black Cluster Soldier. Really broken, good card. It is, it is a very good card. Um, I know the Dark Magician. And Black look Luster at our opponent's board, good. right? He has the magical Dark Law, Swords of Revealing Light, and a face down card. Yeah, uh, drawing into the pot of um, prosperity. Like so, so this kind of works two ways. Is either you ca you kind of care sometimes about your extra deck, or you don't. Okay, so it's basically just like, what do you, what do I want to focus on in this duel? Like, do I right. want to just focus on the tune aspect of attacking directly with the um, tune kingdom uh, safety net, where your tunes mm -hmm. can't be destroyed by battle? Uh, plus, yeah. Plus, with Co uh, with Cosmic Hand, you d you can just snag any bad monster that your opponent's right. trying to get. And out they, they turn to tune monsters as well. So that is a tune he mass hero dark law. <laughs> that is a tune mass hero dark law. So this is really taking the whole concept of like, no, no, these are our cards. Yeah, these are our cards. <laughs> and just like how he did to us, he was ripping cards out of hand. Look at right here. He searched for Polly. 
Well, which is cool because that's going to activate his own dark law effect. Oh god! <laughs> Put it in the graveyard. Love to see it. Uh, now, I know I know the play of uh, you, you know you get tune dark or you use like uh, the red stone to bring out tune red eyes, and then you use uh, tune dark magician to bring out tune black lesser soldier. Uh, now, like, what's like, what's the whole deal with the extra deck? Like, how how are you fitting that in? Because from every time we've played against with tunes and played tunes itself, we've always focused on the actual tune aspect of things. So this extra deck kind of runs around um, because we a lot of we, we run a lot of level four and level seven monsters. The majority of our extra deck kind of revolves around them. Um, we do play Toad, so we do have like if we had another level four here. And they happen both to be water, which is our mermaids, if we ever have mermaids. We can use our mermaids to go into Bahamut Shark to go into Toad to get into Gate on board. Okay. And I'm assuming that if that's just like they're, you know, they got rid of our Toon Kingdom, they're negating our Toon stuff, like, like that kind of situation? Yeah. Or we can, like, we can also use them to go into Utopian Double, stuff like that. Okay. Let's get ready to rumble! Let's get ready to duel! Toon Kingdom, duel 2, let's do it. Alright, so we got Toon Mermaid in hand, Toon Dark Magician, Toon Kingdom, Pog, uh, Toon Page Flip, and the Toon Terror Track card. Okay, now Toon, Toon Dark Magician is not a card you want to see in hand, right? That's a card you want to um, fetch for in the deck? Uh, yes and no. That card that we just drew is the card we really want to search for. Yeah, the um, tomb, this tomb deck cluster. does live and breathe off of our uh, field spell, though. <laughs> right, yeah, but Toon Kingdom is protected because of, with, with its own effect. So, I mean, it, it works out. Ooh, Toon Mermaid. Remember how I said go, in the last game? In we were going Bahamas Shark, Shark and Toad? Yeah, that, yep. So, okay, is... I want to... I want to... I want to I wanna point out this man's patented first-turn play. Set two, set one, and pass. <laughs> like, yeah, you know you're yeah. about to have a bad game if that's your opening hand, or if that's your opening first turn. Like, oh my god. And depending on what it is, sometimes it's like that. Oh, and he's playing blue eyes? eyes. Yeah, okay, that it's makes like... more sense. That makes more sense. Okay. So we got a totally awesome Bahamut Shark with Dark Magician and Black Cluster Soldier. Oh, they just played one and, and pat. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> apparently that's that... good. Apparently they didn't get what they wanted. <laughs> and there you have it. That is the Toon Kingdom deck. Love to see Toons. Um, my friend, uh, what uh, what do you got to say about this deck, man? Honestly. This deck loves to attack you directly and steal your opponent's cards to attack them directly. Yeah, that, that, uh, that is true. Uh, especially with that Toon Kingdom uh, safety on the field. You don't even have to worry about them being destroyed. Red mm -hmm. Gecky, okay. Uh, uh, I guess Dark Hole would get. Would, no, would it? Would that survive Dark Hole or no? Oh, uh, if it's just destroy. If it's just destroy, then yeah, it would survive. Okay, so yeah, it would. Okay. Uh, now, like people, I've seen some people dabbling with the tunes. I kind of did for a while with the Adventure Engine, but I wanted to make this one. I want to make this video a pure tunes day, besides just you know smacking Adventure everywhere. So, Adventure yep. might be okay in this deck, but... <laughs> I mean, it, I it, would, it would do like what it, what it does in every deck. It just gives you a, gives you a token, a, an Omni to gate, like, uh, yeah. Which I'm, is a lot. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm, I'm saying it's a lot, yeah, but I mean, with tunes, I feel like that kind of shifts the focus away from the tunes, though. It does, it does. Like, if we were running Adventure route, I would probably take out, like, the Pot of Extravagances... Maybe the extra trap there, and then make, make try to rough it, making like a forty-two card deck. Uh, with all that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. We hope you liked it. Uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you like the video, comment down below, and hey, while you're here, subscribe. It's free, and it helps you guys get notified when we upload the juiciest content to the YouTube. And uh, with all that said, I'm Kami. He is Jack. We are Team Tune Rose, and we will see you all in that next video. Peace. See ya.